they may be helpful if it's more targeted to prevent infection from a lot of different kinds of influenza viruses, a lot of different strains that shift uh, between years and, and even within years. And so there's a lot of research going on looking at some of these other options in terms of our target for the influenza vaccine. Some of these things uh, are include the, the matrix protein, the nucleoprotein, and also another part of the hemagglutinin, the stalk that tends to be very well conserved, although it does not generate a lot of antibodies and natural infection. And so right now there seems to be a good amount of uh, basic science, animal data, that suggests that at least this is a possibility and something we need to explore further. Uh, right now, this is just really good news for animals, uh, but hopefully we'll be able to translate this uh, into a universal influenza vaccine uh, that we give once a year, once every 10 years, perhaps once in a lifetime, depending how, how well it works, uh, that would be able to protect somebody from all different strains of influenza. Right now, we're still in the early phases of this uh, as a scientific community, but certainly uh, we know that we need new influenza vaccines, so we have something that's going to protect everybody, every time, and every season. I think there are a couple of things I want for people to take from this. Uh, first of all, there's a lot of research going on into developing new influenza vaccines, those that might be able to provide better protection for perhaps people at extremes of age or provide longer protections, perhaps between influenza seasons, even as the influenza virus changes. But I also want people to know that there is an influenza vaccine that currently exists, and it's pretty good. Uh, it, it, it's safe and it's effective. Uh, you know, I get my influenza vaccine every year, and I would encourage other people to do the same. Influenza is a real killer, and it kills tens of thousands of Americans each year, either directly or through its complications. And we really only have one great way in terms of prevention, and that is with influenza vaccine.